Joining me now tonight is Mike Burns, who discovered hundreds of his grandfather's World War I letters in his loft and has since helped write a book about the war. And Mike, it's a pleasure to meet you tonight. And thank you so much for bringing on the most extraordinary things. Um, what exactly did you find? Because you, you didn't really, you knew your grandfather was in the war when he was alive, but he didn't really tell you very much about it, did he? No, no, he said nothing. And my grandmother said nothing. And my mum said nothing. And my auntie said nothing. Um, but I was left these 10 trunks, metal trunks, uh, just full of memorabilia and letters and diaries and everything um, and that was about 30 years ago and I'm, I'm embarrassed to say I didn't open those trunks until about four years ago. Four years ago uh, and you've been very busy since then because you have collated all these diary entries and, and written a, a fabulous book which I think is entitled, if you just hold it up for us, Mud and Bones which I think is a line from Mud and Bodies, excuse mud and me, bodies, yeah. which is a line from one of, one of your grandfather's letters, is yeah, that, that right? Yeah, that's right. We've just extracted that because that just seemed to make sense for the title of the book. And then you also hear, I mean, talk about a trip back in history, if, if we can have a look at what else you found, because you've got a cigarette case there as well, haven't you, which is your grandfather's cigarette case. And amazingly enough, if you open it up, there's, there's cigarettes which he was probably smoking on, on the front line. It's extraordinary, isn't it? When you make these discoveries, how, how did it feel? Did you feel an awful lot well, closer it, to your grandfather? Yeah, it was incredible. I mean, when, when I picked the diary up, I just started to read it, and then I didn't put it down. I went through the diary, uh, just page after page. And uh, all these names that just came up, came out, things like Plug Street and the Somme and everything else, yeah. the, the things that I'd heard of in the past. And he survived the Somme, which was a horrific battle, wasn't it, to yeah, be in? Yeah, yeah. And I know that you also, we filmed this a short while ago, but it, it's very poignant. He had a list of names, didn't he, of friends and colleagues, which he crossed out as, as they lost their lives, which is, I mean, it just brings it home what, what he went through on a daily basis, doesn't it? Mm. Well, he was a captain at the, uh, the tender age of 19. He was uh, responsible for anything up to 200 men at, at one time. And he kept that service book. And mm. again, they were, he would mark off, you know, what had happened to them and that sort of thing. That's what was the there. most poignant thing you, you read or you found out about your grandfather? I you think, think the fact that he, he survived that Somme offensive. And ironically, he survived because he got injured. Um, a German flare went up his kill. I know it sounds very strange. But then he was sent down the line um, and then he was hospitalised. But uh, the other commanding officer wrote to him a few days later and most of his uh, company got killed that, that very next day. And he saw things that we can't even comprehend, can we? I mean, the horrors that he witnessed that thankfully these days you and I, we have got no idea what that would be like, do we? No, no, no. It's a very important year this year, isn't it? A hundred years since the beginning of the First World War. How should we commemorate it? Especially because you're such an expert now. What would you like <laughs> to see? I'm an expert. But I think it's fantastic what the Imperial War Museum are doing. They're, they're putting all the, um, the diaries and letters now online so that people can read those. And I just think it's a, it's a great, you know, it, it is a hundred years down the line, but uh, it's always been overshadowed by World War II. So it's quite nice now to see, you know, one uh, led to the other. So it's, it's great to see, really. And a, and a voice from the grave as well. Do you feel closer to your grandfather now? Uh, possibly do, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Okay, well, Mike, thank you very much for coming on and showing us um, your amazing archive there. Thank you very much. Oui.